Don't underestimate the blessing you have Which is Islam My parents are not Muslim My wife is in the audience and she She knows how much I love my parents. And my parents love me. Every day, my dad says to me, he loves me. Many of us don't even have this as Muslims. But if my dad dies like this, where is he going to go? You could pray for your parents. I can't pray for my dad when he dies. This is the reality, brothers and sisters. This is the reality. Don't underestimate the blessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. And I don't claim to fulfill everything that I say. This is my aspiration of what I'm saying. So don't underestimate the blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you as a Muslim. You having this opportunity, this eligibility to go to Jannah. This is very important brothers and sisters because this is the final goal. Our life is what? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. And I don't want us to go away thinking, my iman is boosted, alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim. I want us to take away and continue this conversation. Because there's many people who need Islam, brothers and sisters, by 2040, according to and the NHS and other medical bodies the biggest disease that's going to kill people is what? is depression brothers and sisters it already 25% of women are always depressed and that's not your fault don't worry about it you have to have a joke after some tears huh? but you must realize this brothers and sisters there's a spiritual vacuum out there and you can do this don't make it too late. My granddad passed away a year ago in September. My granddad was everything to me. He's the only guy in my family that when he said something, he would do it even if he meant to cut off his leg. He was a man of his word. I love my granddad. Ask my family. I love my granddad. I loved my granddad. I never gave him any doubt, brothers and sisters. Shamefully. And then when I heard he was sick, what did I do? I went to go to Greece to get, go on the plane to give him some da'wah. Maybe there's a chance. He loves God. He was a man. He loved God. But he passed away on the Friday. I couldn't even attend his janazah because we can't. Don't make it too late, brothers and sisters. Don't make it too late. And empower yourself. You know you can do this. Whoever you are, on whatever level you consider yourself to be. Because Muslims are people of Tawheed. We are people of La ilaha illallah. And what does this really mean in real terms, brothers and sisters? It means La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no true power apart from the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Israel is not an excuse anymore. Nor is the media, or Fox News, or Sky News, or my boss. These are just empty tools that Allah uses to manifest His will. They have no true power. Only Allah is the true power. And if that is the case, it should free us from the change of creation. It breaks the chains from creation. Because we can achieve anything. In, according to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and since we don't know what his will is it gives us this new realm of many possibilities 
to achieve what we can. And if we tried our best, we fail. We can still smile at Salim eloquently said in his presentation as the Prophet ﷺ did. Do you know why? Because the Prophet ﷺ said, amazing is the situation of the believer. When something good happens to him, he is thankful and that's good for him. When something bad happens to him, he is patient and that's good for him too. How could we not be patient when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah ma'asabiri. Allah is with the patient. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَنُبَوِّئَنَّهُمْ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ غُرَفًا غُرَفًا تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا نِعْمَ أَجْرُ الْعَامِلِينَ نِعْمَ أَجْرُ الْعَامِلِينَ الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا الذين صبروا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون